The James Webb Space Telescope has not disproved the Big Bang. In August, an article about pseudoscientific theory mischaracterizing quotes from astrophysicists to create a false narrative that the Big Bang has been disproved. Although the James Webb Space Telescope has only been conducting science operations for a few months, it has already made some iconic discoveries, including the detection of what could be some of the earliest galaxies ever seen. That existed just 200 million years after the Big Bang. Although issues with calibrating the instruments might mean that some of these galaxies are not as distant as first thought, JWST has almost certainly broken the record with some of them. JWST is designed to find the very earliest galaxies in the universe, Alison Kirkpatrick, an astrophysicist at the University of Kansas, told Space.com. One of the things that it found is that those galaxies are possibly more massive than we thought they would be. While another surprising thing is that it revealed that these galaxies have a lot of structure, and we didn't think galaxies were this well organized so early in the universe. Cosmology's standard model describes how the first galaxies were formed through a hierarchical process, involving small clouds of gas and clusters of stars coming together to form larger nascent galaxies. That these early galaxies seem a little more evolved than expected in JWST's observations is an intriguing astrophysical puzzle that confounds current models of galaxy growth. Nature wrote a piece on the research on July 27, in which Kirkpatrick said, Right now I find myself lying awake at 3 in the morning wondering if everything I've ever done is wrong. It's this quote that was later misused. It was a good quote. Kirkpatrick said, I try to be a pretty forthright person, and I meant what I said, that everything I had learned about the first galaxies based on previous telescopic data probably wasn't the complete picture, and now we have more data so we can refine our theories. This information strikes. Kirkpatrick eventually went back to her research and forgot about her quote until she received a text from a friend in mid-August saying that an article originally published by the Institute of Art and Ideas had gone viral. She looked over the article and found that it contained a prominent mention of her earlier opinion, saying that JWST's observations of distant galaxies had disproved the Big Bang, which is not correct. Worse still, the article had taken what Kirkpatrick had told Nature and misused it out of context to give the false impression that astrophysicists were panicking over the thought of the Big Bang theory being wrong. The author of the article, an independent researcher named Eric Lerner, has been a serial denier of the Big Bang since the late 1980s, preferring his personal pseudoscientific alternative. I saw it and thought this is horrible, but it's also nonsense. Nobody is going to read this, Kirkpatrick said. The next thing I know, everybody has read it. Things started to take a stressful turn for Kirkpatrick, even though her closest friends and colleagues realized she had been misquoted. More distant acquaintances started contacting her to find out if she truly said it and even questioning her sanity. Then came the emails, dozens cluttering her inbox, from various people who had read the article and believed it. People even called her phone. I didn't reach out to anybody. I didn't want to engage, she said. It upset me because there are a lot of people very interested in science but who don't have the background to distinguish fact from fiction, and they read something like this and think it's true. The Big Bang definitely happened. In the meantime, astronomers continue to learn more about the early universe with the fantastic data coming down from JWST. The irony is that JWST's observations are actually supporting the Big Bang model, showing that the first galaxies were smaller and grew larger over time, just as Big Bang cosmology predicts. The surprising finding that galaxies in the early universe are more plentiful and a little more massive and structured than expected doesn't mean that the Big Bang is wrong. It just means that some of the cosmology that follows the Big Bang requires a little bit of tweaking. And that's the fun of science. Despite the arguments from Lerner and other science deniers, science is never clean-cut, we're always learning, always improving our theories, and there is no shadowy conspiracy trying to stamp out independent thought. More than anything, science is based on observation and evidence, which the Big Bang has in bucket loads. That's not to say people shouldn't be allowed to question things, but intelligent questioning is done in a framework of open-mindedness without preconceived ideologies, where beliefs are forged by evidence, rather than the other way around. That's exactly how the Big Bang theory was conceived nearly a century ago, by following the evidence that the universe is expanding, working out what this might logically mean and then testing it on predictions such as the existence of the CMB radiation. That's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe to Nebula now. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Until next time.